Hello, I'm Dr. Glenn, resident vet for Vet and Pet Direct. Arthritis in dogs is a really common problem. I see it in my veterinary practice all the time. Today we're going to answer 10 questions on arthritis in dogs that I get asked in the consult room and also that we get asked on social media. What are the signs of arthritis in dogs? Dogs often show specific limping or lameness in one or more legs. They can also have sometimes a hunched appearance if they've got some spinal or back arthritis. They'll often end up pulling themselves up off the ground, dragging themselves up with their front legs and having less power in their back legs is a pretty common problem. When they do get up from a sitting position, they're often stiff and sore and it takes them a couple of minutes sometimes to warm up. Then they'll be okay once they're warm, but then when they cool back down again, they get stiff and sore again. It's pretty common. Sometimes they'll have actually a change in temperament. They'll get a bit grumpier when you go to touch them or when other dogs are moving around them, they might be cross at other dogs they used to get along with just because I think they're guarding themselves and think that they might be going to get hurt. Sometimes you'll see visible swelling of like peripheral joints down in the feet, big swollen knuckles or swollen ankles or wrists are pretty common and elbows are fairly visible as well. Sometimes you'll see dogs that they just don't want to get up and exercise as much or go for walks as much and they'll just sleep a lot more. That's the main symptoms. What would be my first recommendation for arthritis in dogs? Realistically, go and get a vet check done. There can be lots of different causes of lameness, lethargy, swelling, or behavioral changes that aren't arthritis. So get a diagnosis, and then we can go through a list of supplements, medications, behavioral things that we can do to help out your dog. Will supplements actually help my dog with arthritis? Look, in my experience, yeah, 70% of dogs, you can get a significant clinical improvement from supplements alone. I break them down into groups of omega-3 oil supplements, whether that's flaxseed oil, fish oil, or hemp oil supplements can definitely help. Joint supplements that are the building blocks for your cartilage can definitely help as well, foresight, and there's heaps of other different supplements in that category. Turmeric can definitely help, rosehip vitals, another plant extract that can help, and there's some herbal supplements that have got their places well. Got some really good resources on that, a couple of different videos and podcasts on the type of supplements you can use for arthritis, which we'll put in the show notes. What would be the first supplement that you'd recommend for my dog with arthritis? Realistically, the first supplement is probably an omega-3 oil supplement, preferably fish oil based, but also flaxseed oil or hemp oil. 1,000 milligrams per 10 kilos for an anti-inflammatory effect is really important. I tend not to focus on one supplement. I think the combination of uh, omega-3 oil supplement, joint supplement, and then some of the plant extracts and turmeric in combination really gives you your best bang for your buck. Hope that helps. What is the cheapest option for my pet to help its arthritis? Realistically, probably just giving it less food. Most dogs that I see with arthritis are overweight and have been overweight for a long time, which is why they've probably got arthritis in the first place. So you can save money by feeding less food and getting your dog into its optimal weight range, sometimes under the guidance of your vet. I would really recommend going down the other supplements course as well, because what is the cheapest option for you, unfortunately probably isn't the best option for your pet, and your dog's only got one life to live. So if you can look after it as best as possible, that'd be awesome. Is arthritis really that painful for dogs? Absolutely it is. Dogs with arthritis, they can yelp, they can scream in pain sometimes, they can just really modify their lifestyle and be pretty miserable about it. When I see a pet with arthritis, sometimes I'll trial a pain relief and anti-inflammatory for the first week or so while the other supplements are kicking in just to see how good they can get when they're not actually in pain. And a lot of owners are really surprised on how much it's been affecting the dog that they hadn't really specifically noticed. So people with chronic pain and arthritis know how debilitating arthritic pain can be so absolutely arthritis is really painful for dogs. Can a dog live with arthritis pain without intervention from us? Unfortunately absolutely they can live with arthritic pain. Arthritis is rarely fatal for dogs but it can make life really miserable and it can be really debilitating. I just ask myself if I was my dog would I like to put up with it or would I like to have as many things on board as possible to help out and make my life as comfortable as possible. Why do dogs these days seem to get more arthritis? Back in the day dogs didn't seem to get arthritis. 
They probably did get arthritis, but it might have been noticed as much. I mean, pets are a bigger part of our lives in general than they used to be, spending a lot more time in the house and in our presence, so things get noticed a lot more. Spending a lot more time inside potentially also means that you've got less exercise happening. Dogs that live sedentary lifestyles are more likely to become obese, and um, obesity is certainly a big risk factor as far as arthritis goes. There's lots of breeds that have become more popular over time that are genetically more prone to arthritis. Um, chondrodystrophic dogs, so dogs with short legs and long backs like Dachshunds, French Bulldogs, French Mastiffs. Lots of dogs, unfortunately, are more prone to arthritis than used to be popular in days gone by. Some dogs' breeds have made big inroads like German Shepherds and Rottweilers with hip dysplasia scoring and elbow scoring schemes that have reduced arthritis potential, but there's still lots of dogs that get arthritis, definitely. Obesity is a massive problem. Lots of dogs um, are more overweight potentially than they used to be. Higher desexing rates could contribute to that because desex dogs tend to be easier to become more obese. Maybe desexing actually makes joints more prone to arthritis as well on a hormonal basis, so that's a complication, but basically, yeah, Yes, there's lots of arthritis out there, but there's stuff we can do about it. Can arthritis in dogs be cured? It's a degenerative condition that you can't cure, but you can definitely make a difference to the progression of the disease. At any stage in the disease, you can make the pet more comfortable with a combination of good supplements, the good diet, a good exercise program, and often prescription medication from your vet to make things as comfortable as possible. Can't be cured, but you can make the quality of life significantly better and longer. Can you still walk or exercise a dog that's got arthritis? Absolutely you can. Exercise is really important for dogs with arthritis. Type of exercise is important as well. I want arthritic patients to be moving as much as they're happy moving. If we can have them on an anti-inflammatory or pain relief program that makes them more happy and capable of exercising, that's a really good idea. Rigorous exercises with lots of direction changes probably isn't a great exercise. Dogs that are addicted to ball chasing, sometimes it's difficult to completely cut that out of their lives, but if we can minimise it, do it on as flat a surface as possible, but try and minimise sudden direction changes. Obviously avoiding jumping out of the back of four drives, jumping off retainer walls, using ramps to get up and down off couches and beds. If that's part of your pet's life, that can really help. But we want to use that exercise to maintain muscle mass. Hips, shoulders, spine are all joints that are really significantly supported by soft tissue structures. So the more we can maintain that muscle mass through exercise, the longer those joints are going to work well. So exercise, really important, but we don't want to do damage. I hope that answers your questions about arthritis in dogs. I've got lots of information in the show notes, in the form of podcasts, some blog posts, and some videos that we've already done on arthritis and supplements and all the knowledge about arthritis in your dogs. Hope that helps. Thanks, guys. <laughs>